to start with section number one. I would rotate this up, open up my applicator, and I need to apply this, making sure I cover all the way across the tread. So what I would do is start to rub this back and forth, and as I apply it to the tire, I can see that the tire is actually changing to a darker color, so I know I'm making good contact. I would use a flashlight so that I can see into that fender area, making sure that I get all the way to the back. I don't want to miss portions, and typically we miss little portions at the back because we don't get the ink far enough around the rear. So what I would do is ink the first section and rotate it over, and as I rotate it, what I don't want to do is grab the tire tread with my hand. Eventually, number one is going to come to the, to the top as I'm inking over here, and I'm going to be taking the ink off onto the glove. So what I would like to do is rotate it by grabbing the wheel or the wheel cover. I will ink the entire tire until I get it all the way back so it's completely back to the number one position, and then rotate that down so when I drop my tire down, this first tire wear indicator is going to land on here. I don't want to put it right in the center because as the tire hits, part of it's going to be off the chart board. So I give myself a little margin of error and I will slide this underneath the tire as so. So that my first tire wear indicator for number one is going to drop down approximately here. I also need to go to the front of the car so I can see I'm in a little bit far. So I'm going to slide this out a little bit to about here. This also gives me more space along the edge here to write things down. This is where I take my Sharpie marker. Once I've inked this, I'm going to get ready to drop it down. I will lower the car onto this, and I'll make my first mark right here. As we pull forward, and this is where the second person becomes involved, that person is the driver. The driver's job is to keep their foot on the brake and just slightly release it so we can roll, to, roll the car forward from one section and tread wear indicator to the next one and stop it. How far do they know how to roll forward? Because this could be a nine section, this could be a five section. That person listens to one person, and that's me, because my fingers are in the danger zone. So what I will do is ink the tire, and as soon as it's inked, we want to lower it right away because we don't want the ink to dry. If we come back 10 minutes later and lower, it's just not going to transfer. At this point, I would lower the vehicle, drop down here, and I would say, okay, we're going to move forward about eight inches, slowly come forward. They'll start to creep forward, and as they move forward, as soon as I get to the next tread wear indicator, I say stop. Some people will actually have their hands up like this, say start moving forward six inches, because as I say move forward, somebody might have a different perception of how far six inches is in the car. What you don't want to use is terms like move forward a little bit. Well, a little bit to me might be a little different than a little bit to you. So some people will say come forward six inches, and they'll go like this, and when their hands touch, that means that they're on the next mark. They'll place a little slash mark, and then write the number one here. Now I know my next section, by looking at it, would be section two. I can write that in at this point. I would then slide my next piece of chart board and line it up on this one. If my tire was tracking inside or outside, I would slide this further to the inside or a little bit to the outside. Again, trying to give my fingers enough room to write here. And then I would continue going to the second one. And every time we'd hit another tread wear indicator, I'd have them stop, mark it, and move forward. The third person that I'm using will be at the front of the vehicle with the other chart boards. Their job is to make sure that we are tracking properly on this, moving these back and forth. They're also the safety officer that if all of a sudden that person starts to come forward, they're yelling, stop, stop. That person will only listen to me when I say stop. If I say pull forward, the driver should never listen to me. They have to listen to the person whose fingers are in the danger area. That person's in control of the whole operation. As we move forward, and that tire continues to track down our chart board, completed chart board will be at the rear, so that person will come back and grab these and pull them out of the way so that the rear tire doesn't drive over it. Or the person who is marking it, as they complete one, they can just grab this and toss it off to the side. Eventually, we will get to the end, and we'll have one complete rotation of the tire, but it's going to have ink all over it, or PAM, or silicone, whatever you happen to put on the tire. So what we like to do then is get some scrap cardboard and line that up right after our chart board to pick up the excess from the tire. We will just continue to drive the tire all the way up here for at least another 8, 10, 12 feet, have our chart boards out of the way, and then we'll roll it on back so that excess ink gets on here 
and not all over our work location because it will transfer to the floor.